Hi friends, my name is Jorge Muñoz. I'm a senior instructor pilot working in El Salvador, but as for today, we are continuing on our last holiday before the pandemic. I'm talking December 2019. Last episode, we arrived to Minefield, Switzerland, the village where the Haiti series took place. If you haven't seen the previous videos about this blog slash day in the life slash diary I'm making, you will find them right here on your screen right now and on the description below. But right now, December 29, as you can probably imagine by now, we are going skiing. But once again, we were on a budget holiday. So how did we decide to go skiing if it is so expensive? At least you have to pay the entrance to the park and you have to pay for the gear that you're going to use, right? Well, do you remember Matthias? The angel that let us stay in his home rent free, gave us free food, gave us his car and so many other things. Well, he also asked his own friends to borrow him their equipment for my friend Asensio and he personally gave me his nicer gear and so he took for himself the old skis that he had. Can this man be even more perfect? On top of that he was friends with the lady at the entrance of the park and he got us a pretty big discount. For real, if you want to hear all that Matthias has done for us, check out our first day in Switzerland. Going forward with the video, we woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning. We ate breakfast and got ready to go. This time, Matthias will also be coming along with us, cause he was the pro skater here and because he is a sweetie. We got in the car at 8.45 and because we were in Mainfield, it only took us about 5 minutes to get to the mountains and to the entrance of the park. What a paradise this is. By 9 am, we were already inside the park and ready to die. Asensio and I, we both think that this was where Matthias had plans since the beginning to play with us. This was our first time ever skiing and he perfectly knew it. Matthias told us that we were going to a nice and chill mountain where all the beginners go for the first time. But maybe he meant the first and the last time they skied, because my god it was a death mountain. We took a couple of those flying carts thingies and almost got to the top of the mountain. Asensio and I decided not to go to the very top where Matthias was intending to take us. Cause even though we obviously were noobs, even for us that downhill seemed very dangerous. Instead we got down from those flying carts one stop before. Matthias also came down with us and literally laughing, he gave us the keys of the car and we were like, wait what? Are we, are we not coming back together? He told us that he had the little feeling that he would be spending less time at the park than us. So he will just take the bus to his house. We should take the car when we manage to get down from the mountain. Without further ado, he jumped to the snow and went downhill. Now I always picture this moment like he was screaming, this is for eating all my food, while he was going down the mountain. It was 10 o'clock right at this moment and as we saw Matthias get lost in the distance, I said how hard could it be? Asensio also agreed with me and we both just let ourselves loose in the snow and that was the moment where we knew we effed up. Before we continue with that part of the story, the footage that you're going to be seeing now on, it's from the day after December 30. It was our last day in minefield slash sargans and after what we just went through yesterday, we just wanted a chill day to relax, so we just went walking around the town with no particular curse whatsoever to see what we would find. So let's just chill down, lay back and enjoy the scenery that this town enjoys pretty much every day, while I tell you the rest of our tragic story. We didn't put much thought into Matthias' behavior, because how could we? 
after all he's done for us. But after a couple of seconds of going downhill full speed non-stop without the most remote idea of how to slow down these keys, Asensio lost control first, I did too a couple of seconds after, we both made a visually stunning fall that many people around us saw, like two little avalanches going down the mountain faster than a plane. Eventually we managed to stop. Some people even stopped by to help us out and check out if we were still alive. Of course I said yes, I do this every day. It is almost a second nature to me, that was just how I like to do it. But now, with no other way to go back down but to continue skiing to a certain depth, we continued this process of going full speed until crash and burn every time. I will never forget the fear of getting up from the last crash just to see down there and try to calculate where I would be crashing next, to figure out how much it would hurt and if I had any chances of survival. I got a little bit ahead of Asensio. He was less keen on dying that day in the mountain so he went more carefully. At the end, after almost dying multiple times and putting on a show for everyone else in the park, at around 3.30 pm we were back in the car. We started at 10 o'clock in the morning. It took us like 5 hours to do what other people do in 5 minutes. However, with our last bits of energy, we took our gear off and hopped into Matthias' car. By the time when we arrived to the house, Matthias was just playing online games with his friends. At this point, I just took a hot shower and immediately after I fell asleep for the rest of the afternoon and the night. I woke up until early in the morning the next day. And we did what I've said before. We went out on a walk during the whole day just to know a little bit better Sargans, the hometown of Matthias. And as we would be leaving that same night, we went to the supermarket and bought some beers and cake for Matthias, just to say thanks for everything that he has done for us during these couple of days, even though he wanted us to die in the mountains. We three spent a couple of hours just chatting with beer and cake in hand and at around 5 pm we say farewell to Matthias and hop on the train that will take us to our next destination. However, if you want to see our next destination where we will be spending our New Year's Eve or you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing. And if you found this video fun or entertaining in some way, please hit that like button, comment, share and all that stuff. And you can also check out this other holiday-ish playlist over here. I'll be seeing you in another video just like this one. Bye-bye.